Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kenneth Parker, Vice President of Public Policy for Pepco Holdings, Inc. Good afternoon and welcome to Washington, D.C. On behalf of the Edison Foundation, the Institute for Electric Efficiency, and the electric utility industry and its partners, I would like to welcome you to today's event, Powering the People. For more than 100 years, electricity and innovative electric technologies have been improving our quality of life. Electricity has been a key enabler of the technologies that have driven the modernization of not just the United States, but of the entire world. It enabled the telegraph, the telephone, the invention of the radio and television, the lighting of our homes and our cities, the powering of our factories and businesses. Electricity made the development of the internet possible as well as the creation of the information age. Electricity is the power that runs the computers that now propel the digital revolution. And importantly, the innovations that will shape the future we all rely directly or indirectly on the availability of the electric power provided by our nation's electric utilities. Today, we believe we are seeing a moment in the history of our industry where the foundation for a large and significant shift is being set in place. When taken together, the modernization of the electric grid, oftentimes called the smart grid, the advances in the electric car technologies, especially batteries, and the advent of the new sources of energy all signal a paradigm shift which will have a dramatic impact on our lives over the next several decades. Given the power of this moment, it is time to ask ourselves, what is the vision that will become a reality in several decades? What will the electric utility industry of the future look like? And how will it, in partnership with the leading visionaries of today, reinvent itself to enable a new wave of powerful technology innovations. Answering this question with vision and boldness is critical for the future of this nation and indeed the future well-being of the global community. This is the question we are asking and beginning to answer today as we gather here in Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, and welcome to Power in the People. 